You might have heard that Orlando doesn't have a lot to offer when it comes to food. As a chef and an avid traveler, I beg to differ. Uh, I'm Dylan Etheron, uh, or Italon, depending on how you want to pronounce it. So growing up, it was always Etheron, but really it's Italon. So. Oh, that's got to be so difficult for life. Yeah, it's, it's fun. You know, I like having uh, a Thai last name because I'm super proud of that heritage. Let's go, let's, let's go. We can say uh, Chayo. Is Chayo. One. You can say that. That's you can say favorite. Chokdi. You can say... Chokdi? You can say, it's like good luck. It depends on what part of the country you're in. Well, too. I like chuck tea because dinner. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> How do you think about this healthy fad thing that's happening? Oh no, I don't. I don't. You're not about that. it. Yeah, I mean we, <laughs> we, we stick by like a lot of our old traditions. Like that's. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm, I like delicious. So, however, I have to get there is. Don't worry about that. Yeah. Just like, just yeah. worry about the end product and how awesome it is, right? Yeah. Uh, well, like a lot of our noodle dishes, um, we fry in pork fat. Nothing tonight. Mm -hmm. But like, like when we do pad thai, we stir fry that in pork fat. Really? Is that um, the normal way that it's done? That's the classic way to do it. I yeah. No that's idea. yeah the old school. Way. No one probably does. No one does that. Like in yeah. town that I can think of. Thai Chinese areas, so like Bangkok's Chinatown, is heavy use of pork fat. Um, Bangrak district. Uh, which is where we named ourselves after. Um, actually, I could talk about Bangkok's like different areas forever. Uh, mm -hmm. But yes, so Chinatown, which is actually really close to Bangrak, uh, you have people frying their noodles in pork fat all the time, and mm -hmm. then you go a little bit further, and you have a largely Muslim Thai area, so it's not food fried in pork fat, mm -hmm. and you have totally different kind of food. There's four regions of Thailand. There's north, south, central, and then this is northeast. And all four have very different kinds of food mm -hmm. based on agriculture, religion. Um, even though Thailand is a predominantly Buddhist country, um, say in the south is mostly Muslim. So the food is very under that influence. Uh, actually, one of the dishes we're doing tonight is a Thai Muslim dish. It's super, okay. super good. Um, what dish is that? Uh, that's called the Kua Kling, uh, that's going to be Nia, so it's going to be beef tonight. So now you yes. do these pop-up dinners in Orlando. Yes. Why Orlando? And why pop-up dinners? The actual way that we started um, was I was having a bad day because the previous night my girlfriend at the time got in this big fight, so the next day I was in a really bad, bad mood. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had actually been cooking at home, always like posting on Instagram. This is really a silly story, but uh, posting it, and people were always like, "Oh, I'll cook for me." So I just was like, "You know what? I'm I have all this food. I'm in a bad mood. I don't want to leave my house." Mm -hmm. And like I posted, I was like, "If you want duck noodle soup, come to my house." And it started there, and like a bunch of people showed up. I was like, "That's weird." And it was, of course, just people I knew. So mm -hmm. we we did it ex we did it again, mm -hmm. and again and again, and like a few times. Um, I was working at Whole Foods at the time, and I was like, "I could make like." You could do this. I could do this. Mm -hmm. um, so we started doing them at the at the apartment like a lot, and then um, our super wonderful friends at Swine and Sons, um, mm -hmm. Lexi and Reese Gallak. Um, Lexi and I used to work together at Whole Foods, and she was like, "You should do it here at Swine and Sons because that's not illegal, and what you're doing is illegal." Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Oh yeah, okay, okay well, well let's do that. yeah, let's do that." And mm -hmm. I, I actually didn't come from a restaurant background or anything before that. We're not trying to do anything special. We're just trying to be legit and like mm -hmm. be bring bring Thailand to Orlando. People, not just, you know, in Orlando, but all over the States need to see how, like, how the food is different. Like, it's, it's, it's so, it's like a completely different type of food going to Thailand versus eating Thai food here. Exactly. You don't, what you have in a Thai restaurant isn't what you get in Thailand. Right. Like, in Thailand, you can go down one street at, like, you know, five o'clock at night, and some lady might may or may not be there selling sausage or you know selling pad siu but uh not all the time so we we kind of have the same that's kind of our thing is we want that like that real feeling of being in thailand the food the way that we present the food is exactly how, how you would get it in thailand if mm -hmm. i if the real like we put chick, chicken skins on our papaya salad because i had it i've had it somewhere in mm -hmm. thailand like okay. that so what do you eat while you're here in orlando that's not thai uh, Vietnamese for sure, because mm -hmm. obviously we have a giant Vietnamese population. Mm -hmm. uh, Indian food is my second favorite food. Ooh. Um, mm -hmm. And then I would say, like, I mean, this is going to be super like cliched being from the South, but I love like the new American Southern stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, I love that. Have, there's so many 
so much great food here. There's all these mom and pop places of different ethnic groups too that mm -hmm. exist that are so awesome. Did you hear about what Zimmer, Zimmer said? Did you, really hear, oh, did yeah. you hear what he said? Andrew Zimmer? Yeah. But he corrected himself. He did correct himself. I don't blame him because we are not represented at all, mm -hmm. I think. Um, and I hope that I hope that changes yes. soon. I mean, we're going to be a part of that. I hope so. Mm -hmm. That's you know, if anything, that would be that would be cool. I think that's a good way to say it. We aren't represented. So we're not represented. Yeah. But I do think in the last few years we've gotten much better. It's come up. Yeah, it's it's gotten better. It's getting better every day. For sure, and I love that. Yes. You know. But I'm sure you need to start getting ready. I guess so. I'm gonna start well, some rice. Well, we'll finish our beers and then we'll. I'll help you. Okay. <laughs> start some rice. Warm some stuff up. Uh, you know, maybe have another beer. There you to go. Get ready. <laughs> Today I went to the Asian market and I, I saw the fish tank with all the live fish in it and there were a bunch of dead ones floating at the top and the guy literally said to me, huh, they asleep. I don't know why they asleep. <laughs> I was like, I don't, I don't know, man. Uh, Hey everybody, welcome to our house. Uh, this is where I live. Uh, I'm Dylan of Bottom Rock Fast Food Kitchen. This is Cheyenne also. Has anyone not had our food before? Oh my god. Isn't that crazy? Wow. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> okay, well, a little background. Um, what we do is Thai street food, and it is presented exactly as you would get it in Thailand. So we cut out the whole middleman, and it'll be like, we're going to Americanize this for you. Um, everything that we're serving tonight is stuff that we've eaten in Thailand, that you can't eat in Thailand, and we present it. With a couple of exceptions, exactly how you would find it there. Um, this menu is going to span the entire country. So Thailand has a regional cuisine made up of uh, north, south, uh, northeast, and central. All very different. This is going to kind of get you a taste of each. If you have any questions about what comes from where, we can tell you that too. Um, it's family style meal. Um, so other than the first course, which everyone's going to get their own, it's all going to be shared with jasmine and rice. So everyone's going to have to get to know each other really well. Um, <laughs> To get started, we are going to, since we're all strangers here, we're going to give everyone a little bit of this stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, this is mehong whiskey, um, which is Thai whiskey, so that's another way of saying rum. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, you know, so a, a meal in Thailand, especially a family style meal like this, uh, would not be complete without alcohol. So we'll just uh, say chayo, and then we'll get uh, get set. So yeah, let's go. Chayo! chayo. chayo. So, did you hear about what that celebrity chef Andrew Zimmern said mm -hmm. about Orlando? Did you hear about this? I saw it. Was that in a tweet? So it was in a tweet, yeah, and okay. he, yeah, he said it. that, uh, someone asked him, what do I eat when it comes to Orlando? Yeah. And he said, you're screwed. There's three rivers, and <laughs> uh, that's okay. There's so much more to offer, right? There definitely yeah. is. I feel like I didn't know until I started to live here where you could go to eat because mm -hmm. you would google stuff and it was just very basic i think it's come a long way in like the past what six years yes yeah. something like that from what it used to be it has i have mm -hmm. uh, we, were, we were just talking about this and it feels like as the days are going on as the years are going on it's gotten much better yeah, yeah. and it's continuing yeah. to go in that direction i think it's a reaction to how people feel about mm -hmm. florida everybody who lives here they have to endure being criticized for being like a tourist <laughs> town, yeah, like a place that you just blow it. through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's like a vacation place. Only old people live here. And the people who do live here for their lives, they're like, no, 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 no. Well, I want to help inject culture into this place. We, as people that live in Orlando, can be a little bit upset about this because yeah. it, means, it means that that person didn't care to even look. Right. Like, yeah. really look. First up, uh, this is a dish that comes from the north of Thailand near the Burmese border called khao soy. And I'm not, and that just means khao soy with sauce on top. Pretty simple. It's going to be a simple chicken broth uh, with rice noodles in it. Uh, mm -hmm. The red color comes from a pork and tomato paste that we uh, add fermented soybean soup, fish sauce, um, a little bit of fermented shrimp. We cook that down until it's dry and crumbly. It just goes right on top. That's going to provide like that umami, like kind of spicy flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, fried garlic. Bean sprouts, sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. uh, so enjoy. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm. I need a lot of this. Yeah, me too. You can tell we all like it. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone been to Thailand? Mm -mm. No. No. I'd love to go. On my to-do list. One of my favorite trips I've ever done in my entire life. 
It is amazing. And the food is like this everywhere. And one of my favorite plates I had was $2. Yeah, that's great. I am not kidding you. So what do you guys think food culture in Orlando is? The one word that comes to my mind is innovative mm. for mm -hmm. Florida food or, or Orlando food culture because everybody's trying to do something different. Because I mean, yeah. so many things have already been done before that you have to try to just flip things or make it like uh, like what Dylan's doing is super, super traditional and, and what you're, what we can't get mm -hmm. on, you know, meager mm -hmm. means. So you try to get something as authentic as possible or something super, super different. So it's like people are trying to do new things. So it's still relatively new. It's true. So watching it grow is, is fun. Has anybody been to the, the little lady that makes bummy sandwiches? No, I keep hearing about them. Oh my them. god, <laughs> where is she's the funniest They're good. lady? Yeah. <laughs> and they're cheap, they're good, they're, um, it's like in this little uh, Vietnamese strip ball. Yeah. Um, and she has like a little shop in there in the back. <laughs> so then, one of our main things that make Orlando food what it is, is our Asian influence. I think what, so. Yeah. What, else is, Asian influence. what else is Orlando though? Is that it? There's a lot of Hispanic influence. In yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a huge... Venezuelan, Colombian, mm -hmm. Brazilian population in Orlando. I think there's a lot of like holes in the walls. Yeah, like, I mean, that especially that no one would ever think to go to. Yeah, if, if you go to like down Samaran towards the airport, there's oh yeah, great Cuban places, great Venezuelan places, yeah. and mm -hmm. just it's just cheap, good food. We're sticking it super traditional. This one, this is called lap. This is lap no dip, which means raw beef lap. Um, so yes, it is going to be raw beef tenderloin. Um, you see these veggies next to it, that's going to tame any sort of heat. Uh, you're going to eat that. You can make a lettuce wrap if you want, however you want to do it. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. <coughs> Over here, this is kuakling nye, which is going to be a beef flank steak. Uh, this is from the south of Thailand, stir fried with a southern Thai curry paste. Um, turmeric, uh, kaffir lime leaves you're going to see on top, Thai chilies, green peppercorns. And this one right here, uh, this is somtam Thai. So this is going to be a green papaya salad, so it's the unripe papaya. Uh, hit with palm sugar, we put it in a mortar and pestle, smoked dried shrimp, so you're going to get like this kind of bacony taste mm. from it, it's really nice. Uh, long beans, tomatoes, and those are going to be fried chicken skins on top. Uh, this, uh, plow rod prick, which is going to be a whole fried striped bass, chili sauce, which is my dad's recipe, um, wild ginger, and crispy basil. Mm. So, if you're worried about spiciness, the kua kling is actually the spiciest dish in Thailand. Watch out for these big dried chilies though, they will. <laughs> Kill you. <laughs> <laughs> but they are pretty rough. Enjoy. Um, if you have any questions, just let us know. That's what we're here for. Cool. So, hey, can I get anyone topped off on wine or beer or anything? You good? I'm going to throw it out there in a weird way. The fish has like okay. almost like a buffalo wing flavor to it. <laughs> right? It's really good. That's hmm. interesting. <laughs> That's an interesting perspective. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I, I like about working at a bar in town like that, we get a lot of different people that are traveling for business. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we always have a list on hand of our favorite bars and restaurants around town, mm -hmm. just yeah. to kind of show That's a good idea. people, like, hey, like, right. you know, you guys might be staying by the resorts, <laughs> like by yeah. Universal, all that. But on this side of town, there's a lot more. The story behind this fish is uh, my dad every year. He throws a birthday party for himself because that's, that's, awesome. that's really. But cool. he goes he, he goes fishing and every time we catch a whole fish, we make he makes this. So you know, grew, I grew up eating this um, or a variation of that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do my own version. So this is a very like family recipe. I mean, it's an exist that it's a dish that exists in Thailand, but it's something that he like does all the time. So I mean, his uh, birthday's actually next weekend, so I'll be oh, going. Oh, you'll we'll have this. Nice. Yeah, I'll have this again, and I'm so tired of eating it. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Once once you're done, once you've had like something that's super traditional, and, and you know it's full of flavor and everything like that, is it hard to go back to stuff that you know is very Americanized, or is it just something where you're like, well, this, it is what it is. I know that this is not going to be the... Th this, the, this, it's not gonna be this, but it's still decent for what it is. Or do you just, or do you just no, avoid it at all costs after you've had it? I think mm -hmm. both, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Like you when, suck it up, I think, but. Not suck it up, like the Americanized version, like it can be good for what it is. Like, right. So we were, yeah, we were just in Mexico right. for like 10 days last year and went to Mexico City and Oaxaca. Uh, mm -hmm. And it was, it was awesome. And, but I, I don't come back here going like, oh, I'm never gonna eat tacos again. Right, like, right. It's still great. Right. That is a good way to put yeah. it. That is a good way I mean, to put it. Awesome. This is something amazing. Right. This feels like we are in Thailand. Right. Yes. But 
Thai food that you get at a restaurant, sometimes it's better than if you choose somewhere else. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. almost So look at it as always, like a, a, a different food altogether. Is, yeah, I would have to say You're it's not different. downgrading to something. You're just there's this, different. Something there's different. Thai cuisine in, this, in these levels. So what was everyone's favorite dish? The beef tartare. The beef tartare. Actually, that that was really good. That was yeah. the best tartare. Even was yeah. it tartare? What would go with this? Kwa Kling Nui. I like the love. Yeah, sorry. The the oh, no, no. The, oh, yeah. Yeah. the, the spiciest yeah, one. Cockling, that's yeah, the spiciest actually, one. The, the beef. The soup was off the chain. Oh, yeah. the soup was yeah. really good, too. It was really good. It was very the good way to start. Soy. No. It was like yeah. I would eat the spicy one, and then I would eat the green papaya one to soothe the spiciness, oh, yes. and then I would follow up with the beef tar tar, and oh. then eat the fish to fill me in. None of it was it like was over the top spicy. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Has anybody ever used like beer or alcohol to like well, the spiciness of oh, the food. That's all I've been doing. There is, a, <laughs> there is a whole other side of Thai food that is drinking food, um, mm-hmm. which is mostly just very spicy food just for drinking. Actually, I think we have one of our cookbooks is called The Drinking Food of Thailand. When's that pop up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anytime we're at the guest house, it is all drinking food. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, let's do uh, Chopi, which means good luck. Chopi. 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 Pa pa pa. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Eat this!